theoretically, even with us going minus four. So if they're hitting us for like 13 damage per hit. Dang. It will be done. I just don't have any armor. So we just gotta kill one and then get out of there, I guess. Kind of sucks we're going to do the kill one, run away. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well! So much for, uh... I mean, this is how you're supposed to do it. It will be done. Did I understand this correctly? These creatures were wood goblins? I can tell I'm already going to like it here already! After dying hmm. five times in a row. <sighs> hmm. I feel very saddened that I had to accidentally rely on my... Uh, it's not a solo challenge anymore, you know. We hmm. relied on the NPCs to help us. They stole a little bit of experience from us. And we'll never get back. You can count on me. In a game where you can grind experience casting spells on anything. Oh, 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 hold on. There's just too many goblins. Fine. That's how it's gonna be. I mean, having some meat shields does make all the difference in the world. <laughs> it's <laughs> suspiciously easy when these guys stand there and take the hits. Hmm. <laughs> it will be done. Suspiciously easy. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Engage defensive yes. formation. You might as well just stay out of there. Save game. <laughs> prepare for prepare for more goblins. It will be done. Do you think the goblins have any treasure in their camp? Okay. They better. We might have already killed them all. So much easier with the shield wall. Oh look, some treasure. Okay. It will be done. I do like that this game has things that reward you for a little bit of exploring, you know. Okay. Maybe? Iron Curus. If you were playing as a fighter, very helpful. You can count on me. Hey, Dridgeable. And awesome guy. Sneaking in there with some dice gambling. You've always got the gamble. Oh, that dropped our speed. We used to be at 18. Uh, we might want to find a spot somewhere. Drump some garbage on the ground and pick it up later if we want to sell it. Our ability to kite is reduced. It's getting a bit far away here. Understood. Hundred percent map completion. Go go go. Okay, well we're back to the road. Wait, what? Oh, the friggin' bats. All right, we'll kill the bat, no problem. Um, let's just see here. I wonder what's heavy and not valuable. Probably a 
Well, it's a magic club. These bows are even worse. But they're not very heavy. They only weigh point 0.1 Understood. each. Point 0.4 each for the leather armor. I don't know. It's probably not worth carrying much of the stuff around as a mage. Okay. Bats. The bats can definitely kill you, um, especially if you're playing as a fighter. I'm pretty sure they do magic damage with their little screech attack, their hypersonic, their supersonic attack. Um, so it just does 20 damage every... No, it's... Uh, I believe it's magic, so the mage typically has better resistances at this point. Okay. Don't forget, it's the blue Ankylas with the terrible hat. Okay. She's gonna be so mad when she sees the hat I gave her. This looks like a dangerous split. I'm pretty sure if we just follow the road this way, we get to the end of the game. There's probably a bit of stuff left in this bottom right section. I want to finish the north, but I'm pretty sure we're trying to get to here. So we're done, like, over half of the map now, probably. But, okay. you know, I don't think you can come back here when you're done, so... Most of these maps are, like, one shot. I'm pretty sure that's how the game works. There's no, re there's no repeats. There's no repeats. Some kind of bone snake. Okay. No big deal. Uh oh. That what? You can count on me. Yeah, this is this unfortunately one of the okay. most annoying things, and I do remember this, is uh, controlling your character. And clicking, not registering where you clicked quite correctly, and then walking into enemies and getting murdered. Okay. That is... If there's a major flaw with the game, that'll be the majorest, probably. You can count on me. So I re this one of the main reasons we need to save all the time is just me misclicking. Okay. And basically a misclick at the wrong time, meaning you're dead. Okay, we've got... These are new enemies. We haven't seen Understood. them before. We fought some goblins. These are going to be like orcs. They're uh, a fair bit tougher. If I remember correctly. This guy, though, we outrange and he's on an island. So forget him. Good start. And he didn't call any friends. Save. I, uh, I do recall, at least without using your allies, clearing out the orc, uh, whatever you want to call it, the orc side of the map, the orc, uh, tribe, whatever, is not the easiest thing to do, so we must accomplish it. You can count on me. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Generally, getting the first one is the hardest part. If it's a big group, it will be done. getting the first kill opens okay. things up a lot. Oh, i got to keep an eye. I don't want to lose my speed here. Also, I know it might feel a bit cheesy, but with these old games, it's basically mandatory. This is save between a lot of kills mode. As we get more powerful, quick! Oh, we're so close. I think uh, I did change my hotkeys once, and then I uh, I didn't save. I died, so. They're not the most convenient shortcuts, sadly. Okay, let's uh, save it with the shortcuts hotkeyed. Yeah, as long as there's only one, maybe two, as long as my, as, at least as long as I can keep my shields up, 
we can pretty much tank through it already. Hmm. But larger groups will be absolutely devastating. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, you know, I say it. Save again. You can count on I me. bet you guys would be happier for me to reload, save and reload often, than die and have okay. to replay hours and hours of content every time. You can count on me. Kind of feel like we're heading into bat territory here. Oh, it's edge of the map. Okay, cool. So south here will connect up to the road, and that should lead us out. Understood. Up here, I don't know, more turtles. More enemies, yeah. Another uh, isolated archer. All oh, right, I changed the hotkey. Hmm. So if you're playing a fighter, you'd have to have a bow and just uh, you can count on me. Duel him to death, I guess. I don't think there's any way to get over there. If you have the teleport spell, I think you can just blink across water, no big deal. But, you know, you don't have the teleport spell this early, so... Whatever those archers on the islands drop, it's gone. Okay. Unless you do this cheesy... Cheesy slash mildly cheaty, uh... Grab... I think it's called Grab All. I feel like the... My memories of this game are returning as I play it. I believe there's a command that picks up all the items on the ground that we might use at the end of the game, at the end of the map. I don't think... Especially if I do a good job clearing the map, I don't think it's going to feel okay. too unfair. Okay. You can count on me. It will be done. Also, if you're listening closely, I believe the orcs say narf when you hit them. Understood. Very 90s, uh... It will be done. Pinky and the Brain, of course. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, we were getting close! I think we can take that group with a little bit better, uh... I need to recast my Earth Shields before it runs off. Understood. I don't think... I, I want to try to do this without always kiting away and killing one thing and then running back, right? Like, I'd like to showcase that we've... You know, we're a bit stronger than that. On the other hand, we sure do die fast. Understood. Nope. This is a terrible start. I should just reload. <laughs> you can count on me. So I've recast my shields. We should be good now, right? Oh, heck yeah. Crushing it. Hmm. I'm pretty happy. That's. I, I hmm. definitely remember these sort of orc groups being pretty hard uh, for any solo. Like, because at this you point you're still basically solo. You only have your one main character. Uh, you can bring around the mercenaries that um, sort of steal the experience from you, but okay. sort of. But uh, as a bit of a challenge, you know, see if you can do it on your own. With a fragile little mage. We're not done yet, but... Okay. With a bit of careful spell casting. How are we doing for damage? We're up to level 14 fire. That's... It's getting up there. Eventually it will go up to range 8. That will be very useful. You can count on me. Oh, we've got uh, spirits again. Mm. 
So they don't do much damage. Basically, our four absorption is enough to negate most of Understood. the damage those guys can do. That was good. They attack really quickly, but not for much per hit. Hey, Dirigible. If I missed you. Or it's just Figo catching up. I don't know. I don't remember who I said hello to. Just hello to everyone. Oh, Hello to all the lurkers. Understood. Lurking around, not speaking, but still there. I know you're listening. Also, hello to all the future tubers who are watching in the future. They can't even say hi back. I mean, they can try, but they don't have time travel. Okay. They can't come back to February 2022 and can count on me. talk to us in the real time. Understood. They can't tell me that I missed a treasure back there. They, they'll still say that, though. Don't worry. Someone's already writing, written out a comment. Blue, at 343, you missed a treasure. Unsubscribe. Is there no way behind this mountains into the top corner? I gotta try along these places to see if you can sneak through. It seems like there's a whole section of the map that's kind of cordoned off by these mountains. So I'm looking for a way past it. Understood. Understood. Hmm. I mean, there might not be a way. This spot's probably our best bet. And then after this, it's just the bottom right. So there's really only, like, two little corners left. So what are we at? 54 minutes? That's not bad for one episode, if we can clear a map. It'll be much easier in the future when you've got four characters that don't steal experience because you want everybody to get stronger. Or do you get six eventually? You might even get six characters eventually. I, I think you get your four main party, but you might get more. I don't know if you're limited to the four main party members. I don't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we can get through there. All right, super secret strats. What happens if you head up you can count into the corner? Me. You can't. It will be done. I definitely want to cheat in the blink command, the teleport command, and see what's up there. I'm pretty sure there's a command to reveal old fog of war, and you can of course just cheat yourself the teleport spell. How can they have a section of the map you can't even get okay. to? How dare you, janky Russian developers? I demand a refund. Understood. What if there's stuff up there? If there is stuff up there, ah, uh, man. It will be done. But there, I don't think there's Understood. any possible way. I'm pretty sure the teleport spell is also very expensive, but I'm pretty sure there's no way you could get it here because there's no town at this point. Unless there's like someone that you can, like some event that drops it for you or something, but. It Understood. looks like you could just climb right over there, but... Okay, Okay, that's very frustrating. Um... Yeah, let's just clear out this last corner. Maybe uh, once I've cleared out the whole map, uh, I'll see if I can remember the reveal all command and we'll have a little look. See what we're missing out on. Yes? I think this is bat territory. As you get close to the end, I kind of remember getting swarmed by bats. But, like, I haven't played this game in a very long time. So, in fact, I'm very happy that GOG.com has allowed us to play it, basically. Because if it weren't for them, I don't, I don't think you could make this run on Windows 10 with any luck. Well, I mean, you can run an emulator. You can run, you can run Windows emulators to get Windows 98 running, but that's more difficult than most people have time for. You can count on me. I'm not. If it is bats, yeah. Uh, I don't think the. Uh, uh, if, if they do magic damage anyway, the um, uh, the shield spell won't actually help. It will be done. I don't think anyway. Okay. We will get some spells for protection from all the different elements. 
So if you're coming across, uh... Yeah, this right here is the uh, end of the map, I think. Okay. You know, if you're fighting enemy mages that are raging, um, you'll be able to... Uh, what am I trying to say? You'll be able to protect, potentially block some of the damage, boost up your resistance to the correct elements. All right. Um, well, we're pretty much... I think that's it. All right, I thought Understood. I thought there was more to explore on this one, but I'm very curious about this top right section. I I don't know if I missed something or if it's just not meant to be visited. Let's uh, save it here while the guys walk down and see if I can remember like. Might have to look it up. I don't remember the shortcuts. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Just, just for you guys. Just because I, it's, it's not for me at all. <laughs> Range of mages, cheats. I'm pretty confident there's a way to do this. Yeah. Okay, you have to, you have to enable cheat mode, and it show map, and pick up all. Yeah, pick up all is there. And you can do a bunch of cheaty stuff. You can kill all enemies and stuff. But no, no. I just want to look at the corner and then pick up all the garbage I threw on the ground without walking back to pick it up. That's really all it is. It's time saving and asking, answering questions. So you're supposed to go enter. Uh-oh. No, no. We're fine. Yeah, but you have to go cheat chicken. It's not add, it's ampersand? What is it? That one. No? Are they lying to me? GameStop, you came up number one in Google search. If you're lying about the cheats, it's hashtag chicken before hashtag was hashtag. Maybe I should be going to Game FAQs. They probably know. Game FAQs. Okay. Why isn't it working then? Oh, it might be um, case sensitive. Oh, those Russians. You gotta have case sensitive cheat codes. Um, yeah, show map. All right. We've successfully used cheats. We can see it all. So beyond the mountain line. Okay, looks like there's nothing here. <laughs> it is just an empty space of the map. Ah, uh, my curiosity! So there's no reason to go up there. Fine. And then uh, the other thing that is kind of convenient, if you leave a bunch of garbage on the ground, you can pick up all... And all we picked up was a bunch of dead enemy garbage that we left on the ground because we didn't want to get overburdened. So I don't really feel like that's cheating because we could have just walked around and picked it all up now that it's safe, right? Can you turn them off? Oh, you can't decide to not be a cheater. We're just a cheater forever now. Oh well. There's uh, there's some other ones. You can create a cheaty sword. You can give yourself some gold. Kill all enemies. Oh, there, we can undo the map too, so that's good. Hide map. You can turn, see everything and then turn it back off, so that's good. Oh, it resets your... No, it doesn't reset your fog of war. Okay. Okay. Um... You can give yourself god mode. 
you could just auto win the map. <laughs> you know, there's some good, uh, there's some good cheats. You can just turn on all spells. Okay. But okay. anyway, the only ones I'm going to consider for the let's play are reveal map to double check things like that if I'm curious, and uh, pick up all just to pick up all the garbage stuff on the ground quickly. IDDQD, yeah, IDKF. I forget all the good ones. ID no clip or just no clip or whatever it was. Yeah, Doom had all the cool cheats for sure. Uh, well, well. So many times I passed through here, but it's never been this bad. It's a good thing I took you with me. I'm safe and I've still got my stuff. You earned your 500 bucks and a little present. You can have... You can pin up your cloak with this brooch. It'll make you look very attractive. Wait a second, 1990s. And if someone often happens to offer you a job, you'll be able to ask for more money. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Don't forget to smile. You'll look very attractive with this brooch on your cloak. Hey, the town. Okay, we've got to have a quick look at the town before we end the episode for the future tubers. Because it's been built up a lot. Welcome to Plagat, the hub of the town. Buy, sell, artifacts. Go to the inn. Hire mercenaries. Never. Find quests. Go to school. Get trained. Oh, that's right. You can spend money. Ah, I remember now. So much to do. All right. Look at all the interactable things. That's your save. Let's make a new save for town. Oh man. Did I make a new save or did I screw it? No, we did it right. <laughs> Alright, good. Bling. Here you can improve your character skills by spending your hard earned money. Fighters can only learn weapon skills, mages can only learn magic, but you come to the same place. So if you want to learn astral. It's a little bit laggy on the screen. My apologies. Too many 3D models for DX window to handle, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can just train up your skills for money. The higher the skill, the more expensive it is. Uh, but if you've got a lot of money and nothing else to do, maybe. You don't have to show me that every time. It's fine. But most importantly... There is a village not far away from here called Billywell. A plague is ravaging in the village. Scary business. No, no, I'm not suggesting you should go there. It's far too dangerous. Yeah, there's a plague. Don't go there, though. The healer of Billywell sent four villagers. To so much voice acting. It's awesome. They took the shortcut through the labyrinth and got lost there. Only one of them reached the town. Chances of survival of those who are trapped in the labyrinth are waning with every passing hour. They have families, and the Burgomaster is interested to get them back, so you can be sure to be rewarded. Mmm, burgers. Alright. What you got? Oh, right, so you click the section of the town of the shop that's got different types of equipment, armor, weapons, scrolls, potions. Magical staves that glow and glitter. Yeah, the Burger Master is, is your pal. Um, so weapon-wise, um, the way this game works is kind of by material. So Bronze Buckler is the worst buckler, and then Iron Buckler is better, and then eventually there's probably a Steel Buckler and other types of things. And then there's also different classes. So Bronze has both a buckler and a small shield. If we could buy an iron small shield, it would be better than the bronze small shield. Um, the tower shields, I believe, are the best in terms of overall stats, if you're doing shields. Um, but they're probably higher. Oh, look, an iron small shield right beside it for double the price. Uh, and then, of course, there's tower shields, which have their own slightly different progression. But yeah, copper... Helmets of a variety of colors and shapes. Armors. Oh man, I love, I love the sprite for the the cuirass. The plate cuirass looks so nice. Just wait till we get it in fancy colors besides boring silvery iron and greeny copper. Oh, just this is gonna look so nice later on. 
Um, and then you get that nice little, um, what are they called, plate bracers for your shoulders. Throw them on your gauntlets and your fancy booties. Uh, your, your fighters are going to look so nice one day. Uh, weapons follow the same basic thing. There's all kinds of different types of sword. And then, like, iron two-handed sword is probably better than a bronze two-handed sword. Bronze 7 to 14 plus 4. So iron actually gave you less of an uh, attack bonus. Interesting. Anyway, swords, axes, spears, clubs are the cheap, cheapest. We talked about that when we were doing party creation. Lots of maces. We got bows. Only a couple bows, though. Yeah, I feel like the variety is like there's short bows and long bows, and that's all you get. We got... Uh, Scrolls. So scrolls are just one-time cast, I think. And then potions. I don't remember using potions very often. They're pretty expensive. And you generally regenerate mana very quickly. Uh, but magical staves. So we've currently, we're currently using uh, our 5 to 10 fire arrow. Uh, this is worse than we've currently got. Fire arrow, fire arrow, fire arrow. But they're getting a bit stronger, some of them. Well, eventually there'll be other spells and higher powered versions of the same spells. Looks like the shop is kind of trash right now. I'm pretty sure you need a book of some sort to learn the spells. I've... I'm almost 100% sure that the scrolls are just one-time deals. So honestly, we probably just want to sell our stuff. I'm not sure if... Like, you might want to hold on to the Iron Curus for when you find a fighter, but... You know, our, our carrying capacity is kind of crappy. Oh, you can only sell five at a time. Wow, that's fine. Is there a way to... Yeah, hold shift and the stack moves all at once. Oh, this is our companion sword that we found at the very beginning. But it's just too heavy for us. Alright, there you go. So, there's nothing to buy, sadly. For a mage. No mage armor right now. Uh, there will be magic armor eventually. But primarily the gearing is for your fighters, of course. We could spend our money increasing our skills a little bit. Um, I kind of remember... I thought there might have been a way to increase your primary attributes, but maybe I was crazy. They're probably just locked in. And then there's really, I guess that's it. There's only the one more room you can leave. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Fat man. Uh, the barkeep, he's, uh, <laughs> he's got a good job. Isn't this nice compared to the Might and Magic 6 screen? Which was good, but like these guys, like, look at that. Um, so there will be a list of mercenaries you can spend some money for, and they'll join you for the next mission, uh, and also die and not join you. So I think if we killed all of them on our walk over, they'd already be dead. Um, they're not always too bad. You don't get to, st I don't think there's any way to steal their equipment, sadly. Um, which would be cheating for sure. But, um,. You know, there might be some missions where bringing the mercenaries is a really good idea. Especially if you're a lonesome mage that's going to die. But, um, I'm going to try not to and save my money for better spells and weapons and eventually just pumping up skills that we want to be even stronger. And then there's this fur guard. My, oh my, how are you? I've been here for three days. I heard there was much to do on this island, but so far not a single adventure has fallen to my share. The straight road led me directly to Plagin. As far as I can see, your path wasn't nearly that straight. You don't know me. By the way, the Burgomaster of Plagin is recruiting men for an important mission. The village of Billywell that lies to the northwest of the town is smitten with the plague, and the people desperately need help. The Burgomaster has a cure, but the woods are swarming with monsters, and Billywell isn't that easy to reach. However, I think that the two of us could tackle it fairly well. I don't know about that. Some kind of mage. Well, that's us. Oh, there's his stats. 
some kind of fire mage with no other spells or abilities. Slower. I don't know. I think that was it. Training, weapons, in, saving, and leaving. And then you get to select your quest, yeah. So, you know, it's not the most complicated. But you talk to the people in town. Sometimes there's more people in the tavern. And then you pick your quests. You don't... There is, like, a main story to go through, and then there's sort of optional stuff. We can do the lab, la the labyrinth or the, the cure. I don't remember which one's harder. One's cheaper for payment, but... I think the labyrinth is the side quest that's fairly easy and might only be on a timer. So we'll probably do that first and then do the cure later, because I think this is main quest and get a party member kind of thing. Anyway, that's all for today's episode, future tubers. Hope you've enjoyed. Having fun? Getting some level ups? We could definitely power our guy up. We could buy a few levels pretty easy, but I think we want to save our money for new books. Um, staves and books are pretty dang expensive. And having 10 or 20 grand ready to drop on it is probably a good idea. Because eventually, we're going to come back here. I kind of remember a way of respawning the weapon shop too. I don't remember how it was. It's either like reloading the map or maybe doing what we just did. Going, uh, I, I didn't really memorize everything that was in here. But perhaps going to the, the travel map and returning. Maybe saving and loading. But I think there is a way to refresh the, uh, the inventory in here. Maybe. But once we start seeing better stuff, just like Diablo rules. Once you level up, they level up or whatever. But um, yeah, there'll be some good stuff. Someone's going to go two-handed sword. You know it. we got to have ourselves a paladin. <laughs> oh, you can actually undo all the selling. That's Look at these features. Even if you sell a bunch of stuff, leave the shop, leave the town, come back, you can actually pick it all back up. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, no. That's undo. Okay. That's undo, and it has the same number, which means it doesn't undo anything. But you, you can at least undo the last um, interaction. Yeah. But only one interaction back, I remember now. Still, it, it's a good feature. It'd be cool if there was more... The only thing, not like it's a big deal, but it'd be cool if there was more interactable, just fun objects in the background. You just click on them and, you know, the, the someone would shoot an arrow and the bird would fall down. and Stuff like that would be nice little tweaks. Anyway, future tubers, that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and have a great day. If I can stop the video, we'll see. <laughs>